So I got a request in the email the other day to work on this laptop and I told the person that I would do it for free because it would be beneficial for my YouTube channel. And that's who she is. Hers are Gull Hickory. I had her order the part so I didn't have any cost coming out of my pocket. And that is the laptop there, I believe. And we're going to open this up because it says perishable. So, it might be a cake. If it is, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> you know, it's, it will be legitimately cool to have somebody send me all of the yeah. <laughs> awesome. This is, this is the best. Thank you, Megan. That's awesome. So this is uh, double stuffed cake. It looks like his Oreo. Oh yeah. Nice. This is chocolate fudge cake. Here's her card. Wow, she really did herself, man. Red velvet cake. Oh my god, my favorite red velvet. And then this is carrot cake. It kind of got mushed. But we'll put this all in the refrigerator. This is totally fantastic. Thank you. Um, definitely we'll be testing these out. <laughs> You'll probably get a, a good review. Awesome. And we'll be working on the laptop next. So this is the laptop she sent in. I figured I'll make a two-part video. A one-part video. i show you the cakes that she donated. And what we're working on today. Um, I assume this is disconnected. Let me take and move this first. She might have reconnected. The keyboard, she did. Okay, that's disconnected. And I'm gonna disconnect this. Okay, so, see what the problem is. We no longer have that attached. We still have the pads, which is great, but we no longer have the connector here. It's broken. So, and I'll show you what I mean. We'll zoom in. See how this has a clip here? Well, that one got damaged in transit. It no longer has a clip, and a pin is missing. And broke. So what we're gonna have to do is take and heat this up and put a new one down. This is a six pin connector. If I counted that correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it's a six pin connector. I believe that's one millimeter spacing. Um could be half. We will find out. I guess I need to take in, um, she said she cleaned the, the fan, kind of look bent here, I'm not sure, but what we're going to do is we're going to have to take and continue to remove, she had, she ran the bakery, so she had sugar stuck inside the fan, this happens. Um, we're going to continue removing. The, there's one more screw. And then I'll lift this plate off. And then we'll be able to get to that connector. It's awesome that she sent the, the cakes. So she was 
cleaning this up. That's what she was doing. I'll make sure all this stuff is cleaned up too before I ship it back to her. But we're going to take him mainly pay, pay attention to this here. And so I'm just going to use soldering iron and take those fins off. And then I'll put a new one on. Parts came in. Now let's see what the parts looks like. Nice. That is a reference to a show that I watch on YouTube. Couch Guitar. He does a lot of painting videos. So that is a reference to his. So if you caught that reference, good for you. There's all kinds of cool stuff. Endless upon endless hours of entertainment. So, we are a day later and they have sent the part in. And, there's no rest price. Hopefully we got the right one. Hopefully. I sent her the link and she ordered it. Six pin, one millimeter pitch. Let me find my tweezers. This is not necessarily needed, I just need to grab onto something. And it appears to be the right pitch. Good. So we always want to make sure batteries are not plugged in and the power is removed. I would assume that at this point you've already made that decision to do so. Well, next we're going to do is you're going to take your soldering iron and it's called a solder bridge. And we're going to make a bridge to solder. We're going to make a road. Just consider this like construction. We're going to make a road. Okay. Always important to keep your tip clean. All right, so we're gonna make a solder bridge for this connection here. And you're gonna ask why are you gonna do this? Well, you'll see in just a minute. And so we can lift these all up at the same time. If you had a hot air station, you would just be heating this whole thing up at once. You would get some poly my tape and put it down to protect just the little small circuitries. And if you didn't have that, well, you can just try using hot air around this area here and pull up. But since we're working with a uh, soldering iron today, this is the way we're going to do it. Do I have a hot air rework station? Yes, I do. Why did I do it this way? Because people at home probably don't. And when you use some type of force here in the front of this, and what we're gonna do is go back and forth. Sometimes you have to worry about that not coming off. The second part is you take and melt off the other side. You want to be careful not to short out any of the other pins or components. You're just going to melt this plastic. Trust me. Okay, so what you didn't get to see, the pleasant trees, I'm getting phone calls while I do video recording, is that I took and heated up on this side. So when you start to remove this connector, heat this side first, then this side and you're going to remove those two pins. You're just going to melt that plastic. Then you're going to take and do the solder bridge. And so what you didn't get to see, what I'm about to tell you is that I took that one capacitor off and I had to find it. It was in the solder. So somebody like me had been doing this for years, upon years, even I can screw up. It's very, very small parts, okay? 
almost microscoped it. And you have to make sure that they solder. So, if you've never done this before, it is now not probably not a good time to learn how to do surface mount components that are teeny tiny. Um, just for reference, this is a toothpick. Okay, here's the toothpick. This is how big that component is. About the tip of the toothpick. Big. Not that big. Right? Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I let you zoom in a little bit, and I got enough room for me to work. I'm going to add to these pads. I'm going to start away from here and then work my way back. I'm just going to add a little bit of solder back on these pads. That way I have something to adhere the part to. What I'm having problems with this now is because it's a larger tip, it likes to soak it up. And if I had finer solder, it would have been a lot better as well. Okay, we got that. We got that. Smooth that out a little bit. There we go. Typically, when we do parts like this, we're going to do one pin, and then you go over to the other side and do the other pin. And then you solder the rest of the pin down. Now remember, I said those anchor points are no longer going to be soldered. What we do need to make sure is these anchor points do not mess with any of the components nearby. So I'm going to have to move this out of the way so I can see what I'm looking at. Um, it's going to mess with it. So I'm just going to have to take and I'm going to see if I can physically remove this this side. It does not have um, I believe any structural support. It does not. So I'm just going to just convince it a little bit that it no longer needs to be there. And you probably can't see anything that I'm doing anyway. Because it rubs on the one connector. It's always nice when you get two in a pack because in case you mess up on the first one and always do something second, differently on the second one. Now that removed and out of the way. I'm going to again say that it has no sexual support before or after. Makes no difference. The only difference that it does, it no longer rubs on that one part. Now, you'll see the pins will line up. Now, I'm going to get this lined up. You'll see that this fits perfect. It no longer t touches that one component right there. We'll move this up. I know it looks like it's going to catch that resistor, but it's going to be okay. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your iron and you're going to tack one side of the pins with this held down. And you're going to release the heat from the part. And you're going to do the other side. And then once those are adhered to the board, you go back and you do pin by pin. You heat them and you press them down. And you want to make sure that you don't have any solder bridges. We don't want to have solder connecting from pin to pin. We want them individually soldered down to the pads. And that's what it will look like. Um, I didn't catch the video of me doing the actual soldering because I was looking down at it and you got to see mostly in my face and my ears. So hopefully you kind of get a gist of how this works. I'm back with the toothbrush. It's been obviously used with some electrical cleaner. And there you go. Now it's cleaned up. And that's how it should be. So, 
thanks for watching. Hopefully you've learned a few things. I appreciate um, who's your girl to take and bring this, ship it to me, and include all the yummies that she did. Check her Facebook page out. I don't know if she ships the people, but she probably should. I'm going to continue cleaning the rest of her powdered sugar out of her <laughs> computer. Just to say thanks for doing what you do and what you did. I will see you guys next time. Have fun. Hope you learned something. Don't be too terrible in the comment sessions. Please subscribe.